Oh, hello. I'll just, I'll just do that for 10 minutes at the beginning of the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see if everything's working. Everything is working. Um, let me just finish starting this coffee because I'm working on making some coffee. Um, so let me finish. Let me finish up my coffee. I'm making decaf because after this stream, Blockhead is going to bed. So let me just finish doing that. Do, 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 do. I hope everybody's having a good morning or whatever time of the day it is for you. I have to get out of thinking that just because it's morning for me, that doesn't mean that it's morning for you. Okay, I think that should be plenty of coffee. Okay. I just realized that Blockhead already put the water in the coffee. Okay. So first of all, I do apologize that the times have just been, you know, I had to shift two hours earlier. Good morning, Ben Monster TV. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just started some coffee, some decaf. So I, ha I had to shift to, um, let me turn the music down just a little bit. I don't know why it's distracting me, but it is. Um, because I went back to work this week, I'm off of vacation. Good morning, pickle sticks. Happy Friday, happy Friday to you. I, um, I went back to work this week and I work overnight. So as soon as I get home in the morning, I change, I go to the gym and now I'm doing this stream. So I'm starting a little decaf coffee but wherever you are, whatever time of day it is for you, have whatever you like. I'm so excited to show you guys this recipe. So this recipe is originally from Tasty. You know that website, Tasty? It's like an app and a website and they do videos and they had this recipe for quote unquote, the best brownies is what they call it. So all I've added to it is the topping. Um, we've made it salted caramel brownies. And I'm really, really excited to show you. It does take a while to make them. I actually have a couple of different recipes for brownies that I can rotate through. And um, some of them are very quick. This one is not. This one's gonna take about 20 minutes to prepare the batter, 40 minutes to cook, another 20 minutes to cool down. So this stream is probably looking at about two hours in all. Um, but whatever, whatever piece that you guys can hang in there with me for is great, is absolutely fabulous. I'm so happy it's Friday. Salted caramel brownies, always great. If you don't like the salted caramel, and I have met a few people who don't, just leave it off at the end. That's all you have to do. So put that on at the very end. First of all, we're gonna wash our hands because I know sometimes Blockhead forgets to wash his hands. So I'm gonna wash my hands right here. It's Friday, Friday. That'll be my, my song today for washing my hands. Rebecca Black, wherever you are, thank you. Thank you so much for gifting the world with Friday. People everywhere wondering, which seat can I take? And uh, thinking about how I gotta have my bowl, I gotta have cereal. Do bowl and cereal really rhyme? She made it work. She really made it work. I can't stay for long. We leave for vacation in one hour. Well, Pickle Sticks, you have a great vacation. You are gonna have a wonderful time. Um, if I can ask, you don't have to say, but if I can ask, remind me, where are you guys going on vacation? Or you could just say the region if you don't wanna tell us exactly where. I would love to know where. She is big on TikTok now, I think, says Spin Monster TV. Well, good for her, because I love Rebecca Black. I loved that song unironically when it came out. Hey, I do want to do what I always do at the beginning of the stream, and that is to remind everybody, wherever you are, that you're special and you're unique and the world needs your special energy right now. So never doubt yourself. I certainly don't doubt you. Check it out. Today's t-shirt is Mr. Ziggy Stardust himself, David Bowie. Rest in peace, David. I've always loved you. 
Wherever you are looking down on us, you star man, we love you. We're going to Asheville, and we will be back next Wednesday. Pickle Sticks, have a great vacation. I mean it. You better go and have a great time. Just relax. Relax. The whole time. Okay. This is what you are going to need if you want to make this. Uh, we need two and a half sticks of butter. You need eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. Mm -hmm. You need three-fourths of a cup of this dark chocolate cocoa powder right here. The uh, Hershey's cocoa there. Um, interestingly enough, you need about a tablespoon, yeah, a tablespoon of espresso powder. So gives it a little flavor in there. Two cups of sugar, basic, right? A half cup of brown sugar. Uh, two teaspoons of our vanilla right here. Did you guys ever Google where the fake vanilla comes from? Don't do it. Don't do it. This is the real stuff. Not that it matters. You won't be able to taste the difference. I got to drive to work, but I'll join the stream as soon as I can. Ben Monster TV, thank you. Have a great drive to work, a safe drive to work. It's Friday. We're almost there. And Ben Monster TV, you have your own stream to do tonight. So you better be safe driving to work. Um, let's see, where was I? Uh, kosher salt, six eggs. Here they are, six eggs. Flour, a cup of flour. And the caramel, right? We got some, how do you say this? Giraldi, Giraldi, Vince, is this Vince Giraldi? Giradelli, I can't pronounce this. But there it is, and it's delicious. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So let's get it preheated. The coffee's making back behind me. There it is, my little drip coffee maker. Boop, boop. It's decaf, because I'm going to bed after this stream in about two hours or so. And uh, oven's preheating to 350, we've got it. We are gonna grease our pan, you guys. I've got all my utensils and everything set out today. We've got Dan the Pan, there he is. Dan the Pan with a master plan. We're gonna grease up Dan the Pan with a little bit of butter. I prefer to use butter to grease my pans. A lot of people will do cooking spray or Crisco, I guess. I like butter, it has never failed me, but you really, really, really gotta grease this pan. I'm telling you, don't play around with this. You guys, you know how we do right here. Come on down here with me. There's my little dog walking around. Boop, boop. Hey, Rosie, how you doing? All right, see the pan? We're gonna grease it. And we're gonna seriously grease it like we mean business, you guys. Do, 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 it's Friday, Friday. Hope everybody's excited about Friday. There's Mr. Bowie. Is he telling me to be quiet? I don't know, he's got that shh. He's like, shh, blockhead, blockhead. You're too, you're too loud, blockhead. That's a terrible David Bowie. You guys, that's the worst David Bowie impression. Blockhead. Actually, that's, that's more like David Bowie. Blockhead. You're too loud, blockhead. You got to quiet down while you're greasing the pan. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. All right, that's enough impersonating David Bowie. Man, I miss him. Uh, Bowie was probably my favorite musical artist of all time. And uh, every year when January comes around, January was when he passed away and it's also his birthday. It, uh... I always remember, you know, I get a little emotional. Do you guys do that? You guys have celebrities that when they passed away, they really touched you. Um, and you always think about them. Um, okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? Dan the Pan is all greased up. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put Dan the Pan. Dan the Pan with the master plan. We're gonna sit him right over there. Hopefully he stays put. Don't go anywhere dead in the pan. Okay. Next up, we are gonna combine our chocolate. The, that's the chocolate morsels right here. We're gonna combine our chocolate 
our cocoa powder and our espresso powder, I think we're gonna use the smallest bowl that I have today. I guess going on the theme of what we've done before, naming all of our bowls and stuff after characters on Roseanne, this could be the DJ bowl. It's the DJ bowl. Um, DJ, Mr. DJ. You're gonna need about eight ounces of this, okay? This is an 11 ounce bag. So let me get, you know, I, I got all my utensils and measuring cups and everything ready to go, but they're not in their usual spots anymore. They're all placed right around here, right around the camera. So eight ounces of these little semi-sweet chocolate morsels. What do you guys think? What about eight ounces? What do you guys think? Okay. Eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. And uh, if you can find the miniature ones, the mini, that's even better because it'll melt quicker and easier. I could not find the miniature ones this time when I went to the store. I guess they didn't have any. What else do we have to put in here? We got to put our, our chocolate. Cocoa powder. How much cocoa powder do we need? Ooh, it's getting everywhere. Three-fourths of a cup. Do I have a measuring thing? I have a two-thirds, and I have a whole... Let's use this one. Let's use this one right here. Three-fourths of a cup. That should be no problem. We know what three-fourths is. We know what we're doing. Actually, technically speaking, I don't always know what I'm doing. I am not a professional chef, not a professional baker. I started baking about, that's a little too much. I started baking about three years ago, as a matter of fact. And if you can believe it, there was a time in my life when I used to make fun of the prospect of home cooking and home baking and stuff because I was like, look, you can go to the store and buy it already made. That was my, that was my faulty logic. And I still do that. I still buy store made stuff, but the truth is when you make stuff at home and you make it for your friends and family, there's a big difference. You can taste the effort that goes into it. And it's a lot better than when you just walk out of the store with some brownies. Let me put this butter back up before it melts. Put the butter back in the fridge. And then I'll be back to you. Do, do, do. Okay. What else are we putting in here? Mm, 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 where am I at? Chocolate, cocoa Oh, espresso powder, of course. Now, isn't that interesting? This is the only brownie recipe that I have that uses the espresso powder. And we're going to need one tablespoon. Let me see if I can get my tablespoon over here. I first... D discovered David Bowie when I was about 19 years old, if you can believe it. Um, I mean, I knew about his songs, but I really wasn't into him until I was about 19. And I heard songs from that one album. Uh, it's called Hours. Hours, dot, dot, dot. And that was the first David Bowie album I ever owned. And it was marvelous. So if you haven't heard Hours, dot, 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 go check it out really good okay so this is it you guys can see that's our chocolate that's our um, our cocoa powder and that's our espresso powder and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt this butter this is two and a half sticks of butter we're gonna melt this in the microwave and we're gonna get it super super hot like it's gonna be liquid and molten boiling because we're gonna pour this into this and it has to be hot enough to melt these chocolate chips you guys so what I usually do is I actually leave the butter in the paper, the little wax paper stuff they wrap it in, and then when it starts melting, you just pull the paper out. Let's put it in here for a minute. Put it, that in there for a minute to start off with. While that's cooking, let me bring you guys back up here with me. Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Blockhead Baking Hour, two hours. 
My coffee's done too. I could get a cup of coffee. Let me introduce you to my co-hosts. Here's Autumn. They are the uh, the fall the fall hedgehog. Autumn the autumn hedgehog. Autumn is non-binary, non-gender conforming. We love Autumn. They are adorable. Look at that adorable hedgehog face. And Sherbet. He's our stream mascot. He's our little hamster. And as a matter of fact, Sherbet is going to host the Amazon watch party for me tomorrow. I'll be lurking in the chat, chatting away. We're going to watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind tomorrow at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Central Time. Amazon. So if you have Twitch and you have Amazon Prime, we can watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind together. Sherbet's going to host for me. Aren't you, buddy? You're going to host it, and I'll just be in the chat. Thanks, Sherbet. What a great pal. Don't roll off of there. He's very round, so he likes to just roll wherever. Don't know where he's going. So you can see our butter has started uh, melting in there. Look at that. So we just pulled the paper out. Just toss it in the sink for now. Two and a half sticks of butter is what you're going to need. And there's still some what you would call globules, globules of butter in there. So I'm gonna stick this back in for another minute. Remember, we want this butter super hot because it's gotta melt all that chocolate. Our oven's heating up. Here's another minute. You think that gives you time to grab a cup of coffee? I think so. I'm gonna have some decaf coffee, you guys. If you're watching at home, go get yourself a tasty beverage. Maybe coffee, maybe something with alcohol in it. Where is everyone on this Friday? And what are you doing? And are you? I hate it when my computer turns off when I'm trying to moderate. Look at this thing. Annoying. You're annoying me, computer. There we go. There we go. I don't like it when my computer goes into like sleep mode and I might need it to moderate. You guys, check this out. Do you see I almost put this Splenda in the chocolate stuff instead of my coffee? Check it out, you guys. I got a little, a little baby bot for my chat now. A little baby bot. And she does a couple of commands. And I think while the brownies are baking, we'll, we'll talk all about that. My trying to become a better streamer, you guys. Okay, so this butter is very, 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 very hot. I am not sure if it is as hot as I want it yet, actually. I think, you guys, I think we're gonna hit this for another 30 seconds, so I guess Two and a half minutes in all. I should write that down somewhere for next time, huh? It's okay. It's not hurting anything. Yeah, so I got a, a baby. Oh. That really startled me. Could you tell? It's just the oven. The oven's preheated now. <laughs> I don't know why I was so startled by that. It's so funny. Um... Man, yeah. So I added a little, a little baby bot. Let's 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 ask let's ask her a question. Let's ask her a question. Come over here a little bit with me. Don't pay attention to all this stuff over here. <laughs> let's ask her a question, shall we? Let's um, let's see if this works. Um, will my brownies? Will my brownies? be delicious. I think this will work. Ooh, outlook not so good. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, well I hope I hope Moobot slash the Magic A Ball is incorrect. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy oh boy. 
you guys want to come down here and watch and see me mix all this stuff together? I know you do. Okay, we've got our little wooden spatula and we've got our hot, 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 oh my goodness, so hot butter. And we're gonna try to get all this mixed up before it cools down. Oh my God, the bowl is getting so hot already. Um, I'm gonna mix this all around. It smells absolutely delicious. You cannot believe how good this smells. This hot butter getting in there, melting all the chocolate morsels up. Can you guys see? Oh man, it smells so good. Trying to get it nice and smooth. And you'll see just every step of the way with these brownies, these brownies, you know, it takes about 20 or 30 minutes just to make the batter. And then another 40 minutes to cook. And you'll see every step of the way, this is not a quick brownie recipe. So you need a little bit of patience and a little bit of time to do this. So you see how it's smoothing out? All the lumps are going away. Very, very smooth. Chocolate, cocoa powder, espresso powder. It's fabulous, really, really fabulous. Love it, okay. So now I'm gonna set that over there and we're gonna go on to our, our next part of the journey, which is we're combining sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, salt, and eggs in a bowl. We're gonna choose our big giant bowl. Now I forgot if we decided to name this bowl. Is this bowl Roseanne? I can't remember. I want you guys to come over here a little bit. There you go. I'm glad you guys came and uh, hung out with me today. This is This is good so far. Sugar, okay, sugar, 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 and sugar. We're going to get two cups of this sugar into this big giant bowl here. It's gonna be great, great. I feel like Tony the Tiger right then, just then. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the fear of the fight. Rising up through the challenge of our rivals. Come on, come on, there you go. And the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger. Okay, that's enough singing and enough sugar. Brown sugar, she's right here, there's our brown sugar. You know brown sugar, all they do is add molasses to this. That's what this is, sugar and molasses and a twist tie that is really, really good. My goodness, who put this twist tie in here like this? This is amazing. Brown sugar, we need half a cup of brown sugar. And I am just going to use the exact same thing I just used. With brown sugar, sometimes you have to pack it in to make the measurement accurate. Okay, let me see if this is half a cup. This might be a little bit more than half a cup, actually. Nope, nope, I think that's gonna be it. So this is half a cup packed. There she goes, right in there, right in the bowl. Some vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla. I like to use the cap, but I do not pour it over the bowl. Don't pour it over the bowl, because if you get too much, it's not gonna be good, you guys. That'll be too much vanilla. There's one teaspoon. Oh, that vanilla smells so good. Two teaspoons of vanilla right in there. That's going to be really good. Okay, salt. So it's a, it's like a it's like a teaspoon of salt. So we have our little our little sea salt for the topping. I'm going to use I'm going to use the regular salt cuz it's easier to pour out and get my my little dash, my little handful of salt there. Salt in there. And then we got we got the eggs. Let me plug my mixer in. Plug the mixer in. We're gonna put all six eggs in at the same time and then we're just gonna mix this and we're gonna mix it for like 10 minutes, you guys. So it's gonna be one, it's gonna be boring, and two, it's gonna be noisy because I have to mix this for 10 minutes. If I had a video montage or something to show you, I would, but I don't. 
pretend if I was a gamer, it would be like grinding. You know what I mean? Why did that one not work? I never have trouble cracking my eggs. And then that one just gave me a little bit of, it didn't want to crack. Six eggs. There's tres. Tres? Tres eggs? Tres? Is that how you say it? Cuatro. Cinco. That's right, cinco. And seis. Delicioso. Can you say delicioso? Okay, let me rinse my hands a little bit. Get that egg goo off of there. A little, little egg goo. Okay, so forgive me, I have to mix this for about 10 minutes because we want to get this as light and fluffy and pump as much air into this as possible, okay? So, I'm gonna just set my timer for 10 minutes over here and I'm gonna mix this, all right? I'll be, I'll be right here. You can watch David Bowie. The cord is the, do you see that? The cord is the wrong way around on that. <laughs> the cord wants to get in the batter. Okay, there we go. You know what, I'm gonna make an ex executive decision that since I'm doing this on stream for everybody, and it's got lots of, well, you really, hard to see on camera, it's got lots and lots of air bubbles in it. So I'm gonna make an executive decision that we're done. Done with that. I am not gonna mix this on stream for 10 minutes. There's just no way. Sorry, Tasty, not gonna do it. It's still gonna be delicious. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Lots and lots of air bubbles. It looks very fluffy. I'm sure 10 minutes would be fine if I wasn't streaming, but I am streaming. I don't want to do that for 10 minutes. We did it for three. Three whole minutes we did that. So now we're going to pour this mixture into here, the chocolate into this, and we're going to mix it up. We're going to mix it all together. Just get all that chocolate. It smells wonderful, you guys. My computer wants to go to sleep again. Is anybody really computer savvy? How do you stop this thing from going to sleep? 
every... I know there's got to be a setting in there somewhere. Stop laptop from going to sleep. Look at this. Mixing it all together. Look how swirly and cool that looks on camera. Look at that. Swirl. Swirl. Mr. Bowie does not seem amused. Again, he's giving me the shush face. Oh. That, um, what was that last album that Bowie did just before he passed away? Black Star? I think it was called Black Star, I think. And it has that song Lazarus. He did the music video and you know it's just very sad very sad losing somebody like, it was kind of like um losing a uh, chadwick boseman not too long ago i mean he was a hero to a lot of people i mean i think that what he did for black folks, for African Americans, is amazing to be that hero. But he definitely transcended race. There's a lot of people of all different colors, all different ethnicities who love Black Panther and love the talent that Bozeman brought to that character. Um, it's hard to imagine anybody else doing that as good as he did. <laughs> What's up, Johnny? How you doing? Yeah, this is, uh, we're almost there, man. We're just mixing it all together like this. And I'm rambling on about the Black Panther and how awesome uh, Bozeman was when he played the Black Panther. And you can see we've got Mr. David Bowie right here looking on. Thanks for stopping by, man. It's awesome. Just gotta, okay. So now I've got the liquidy part of this done, and all that's left to do with this is we're gonna put the flour in here. Now look, check it out. I have a flour sifter, a little flour sifter. We're gonna put a couple flour in here. Robot done, what's up man? Good morning. Morning brownies, I know. I work overnight, Robot Don, so this is the end of my night. I'm gonna do this stream, and then I'm probably gonna go to bed before too long. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna wake up to uh, catch Tuesdays with Ben Monster on Friday, of course, tonight. <laughs> All right, this is about a cup. There is a measuring thing in here. Some of it kind of comes through a little bit. So you're just doing about a cup of, cup of, uh, Cup of flour in here. Do 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 do. Yep, that's it's probably not quite a cup. So all we're gonna do is sift this over the top here. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, sift it. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so excited. Like just grinding this thing. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. Let me get my. Let me get a spoon and do a little bit more flour. You want a cup of flour. All right. So hungry, says Johnny. Well, Johnny, just wait till these things are done. I mean, I know that's way in the future, but you're already in the future, Johnny. Tell me how these brownies turned out. And then, so the trick is with the flour and the wet, you're gonna carefully mix it because you want it to get thick and you don't want to take all the air bubbles out of it that we freaking mixed in here. So we're gonna carefully, I guess, call it folding, call it whatever you want. We're just gonna carefully do this until all the flowers combined. And uh, it's kind of cool. It reminds me of when you're in a, uh, when you're in grade grade school, elementary school, elementary school, and they teach you how to make those like different liquids. You know the liquid that when you hit it with your hand, it's solid, but you can still play around with it. There's a name for that. I just can't remember what it is because it's been forever since I've been to elementary school. I wish I could have brownies this morning. I wish you could too, man. I've often said somebody needs to get an app 
find a way and partner with Twitch. And when somebody makes something on stream, as long as there's enough to go around, I ought to be able to put it in a drone and fly it out to you. You know, everybody has, has giveaways for this and giveaways for that. How do I give away food that I'm making? I don't want to eat all these brownies myself. Non-Newtonian fluids, cornstarch and water. Yes. Thanks, Robot Don. That's what this reminds me of. And uh, some cat, if you're out there, thanks for the follow. I do appreciate it. Almost kind of reminded me of that song. There's a country song that goes, some beach, somewhere, like that. That's a... Uh, so that name, Some Cat, reminds me of that. Some Cat, if you're out there, are you on some beach somewhere watching me make brownies? I hope you're enjoying it. We're almost done making this batter, and then we're going to throw this in the oven. We're going to bake them. They have to bake for a total of 40 minutes, you guys, and then we have to cool them down for another 20, but you know what? I made some coffee, it's decaf. Thanks for the thumbs up, some cat, I really appreciate it. And I'll, you guys know I love to run my mouth and catch up on everything. FWB, is that, uh, is that Fort Walton Beach? Is that what that's for or is that something else? I recognize that. Um, do, 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 do. I love running my mouth about uh, stuff that we all watched and did this week. You know, I haven't I haven't streamed since Monday. My schedule changed so that I work overnight, and I wish, man, boy, would I love to stream at the exact same time every single day, and just keep that schedule for months and months and years. But it is impossible with my job. LOL, you're killing me. <laughs> I hope I'm not literally killing you. Brownies are supposed to bring us love. Okay, this batter, as you guys can see, this is pretty much done. And it's very hard to tell on camera, but it's very thick and it's very fluffy. And these brownies turn out amazing. You cannot believe how amazing these brownies turn out. This is from, you guys, real quick, this is... This is a tasty recipe. So you can literally Google this recipe, tasty.com. Johnny Trigger says, what do you do for work, bro? Johnny, I am in the military and it is very good to me. I, I don't really talk about it too much other than to acknowledge that is what I do. Um, because quite frankly, this is a lot more interesting <laughs> to me. VH, VHS. Hi VHS, good morning. Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Oh, Wilfred Brimley. That's another celebrity that we lost not too long ago. Oh, Wilfred Brimley. Okay, remember this is Dan the Pan. He's all greased up. We greased him up at the beginning of the stream. And now we're just gonna pour our batter. You know what? I could not have grabbed that in a worse way so that you guys could not see what was going on. We're gonna pour the batter in here. Oh, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of flour part right there. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want people biting in and there's like a chunk of flour. It was just a little tiny, tiny bit of flour and I kind of mixed it in there a little bit. Um, anyway, you guys, this recipe comes from Tasty. Tasty.com or the app or whatever and it's called The Best Brownies. And it does take a while to make. It takes a lot longer than if you make them out of the box or if you use a quick brownie recipe. But they are worth it. If you have the time, they are worth it. And I just added salted caramel to the top because people love salted caramel. So I have my chocolate all over the place. Let me wash my hands off. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard me. I'm so sorry, bro, lagged out. What do you do? Oh, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the military, Johnny. Um, and all I had said was that I don't like to talk about it too much uh, because this is more interesting and that part is really not interesting. 
Um, so you guys have heard me say before, whenever you put something in this like batter, don't bother with trying to spread it out with a spatula. All you do is shake it. All you do is shake it and it'll make it all even in here. Just shake it to even it out. That's my shaking noise. Is that annoying? Okay. <laughs> See, there you go. See, it's all even everywhere. And then they're gonna rise just a little bit. They're gonna floof up a little bit when we cook them, okay? So we're gonna put this in the oven. The oven's preheated to 350 degrees. Well, I'm glad you think it's awesome, Johnny. It has been very good to me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put this, these in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. 20 minutes is only the halfway point. So let me put these in the oven. Get those in there. Turn my timer on, you guys. Okay. And then you guys can come back up here with me. So we have about 20 minutes to gab and chat and whatnot. It's Friday. Is it Friday for everybody? I think it is all across the world. Even though we're in different time zones, I think it is Friday for everybody. So happy Friday to you. Rebecca Black, wherever you are, happy Friday to you. Um, I'm so excited, as a matter of fact, I would like to do, I would like to have on Irene Scara for a little performance. You guys ready for Irene Scara? Let's have a little performance for Friday. Irene, there she is. There's Irene Scara. She's gonna perform for y'all. She just keeps going. Thank you, Irene. Thank you. That was lovely. Irene Scara, everybody. Irene Scara. She's our skeleton mermaid. She's around for Halloween. She's around for this month of October, right, for Halloween. Yeah, she's, uh, she's fabulous, isn't she? This is great. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's something. Irene is something. Oh, my goodness. I, get, I made some coffee, if you guys don't know. I don't know if you heard me at the beginning. I made coffee. It is decaf, because after this stream, this whole stream will take us about two hours, right? These brownies take a little bit of time. We gotta cook them for 20 minutes. We gotta take them out, and you do this thing where you drop them a couple of times in order to, um, I, it, it makes them not stick to the pan, and it helps them floof up a little bit. That was in the recipe. So then it goes back in for another 20 minutes, and then when they come out, we're gonna stick them in the freezer real quick and cool them down for 20 minutes. And then after that, they'll be done. I'm gonna cut a piece, I'm gonna show you what they look like, um, and eventually, when this goes up on YouTube, you can get the recipe. Although, uh, <laughs> thank you, Spider Monkey Bot. Wanna become famous? No, I don't. Doesn't, you guys remember that, um, what was that, that show, Total Drama Island, where it was like, I wanna be, I wanna be famous. I don't know. I don't know if anybody remembers that show but me. Um, I made some coffee. It is decaf. I'm going to bed after this stream. Cheers to all of you. Cheers. These brownies are amazing. You can literally Google the recipe. You don't need me to tell you. Tasty. Um... Check this out. Check this out. Go away, Bob. I know, right? Check this out. I got a little... I'm trying to become a real streamer, right? So, of course, my eventual someday follower goal is 50, and once I get to 50, I'll upgrade everything. Right now, I just stream on my phone, and I moderate with my laptop, but I did put a little baby bot, and she just does a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get her to... Actually, I'll move you guys over a little bit so you can see me. I'll see if I can get her to do... To do something. Let's see if I can get her to um, do this. Is it gonna work? I don't know. 
as I as I figure out how to do all this stuff. Let's see if the, let's see if this works. Does it work? Do I have to do an at? I was trying to shout you out, Johnny. Did I spell your name right? Oh, I put an H in it. Let me try again. Let me try again. You guys are here while I practice. There it goes. Woohoo! Woohoo! I did it. <laughs> Thanks, Mubot. Yeah, I was so I was so proud of myself. I I got the bot and put her in there. She does a few things. Um, she's got. Yeah, she's got. There's the command list, and uh, and I finally got. I, I finally got a Discord. I got Discord, finally. My, um, my friend Picklesticks22, she insisted that I start joining other people's Discords and I made my own and I appreciate her for it. It's, I resisted, this is why I resisted you guys. I, in my head, I'm like, I don't understand. We're already streaming, we're already chatting with each other. Why do I need a message board? Why do I need all these different message boards? Um, but she insisted that I do it, and I, so I'm on other people's message boards now, seeing what they're up to, and I, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it and appreciate it for what it is. So I have a bot now, and I have Discord. So I'm getting there little by little, itty bitty, itty bitty pieces. I bought this book. Have you guys heard me talk about this book before? This is uh, Twitch for Dummies. I got it, I read the whole thing. Uh, it's really good, it's a really good book. Knowledge is power, some cat, absolutely. Um, I saw this on a person's stream where they had been sent it as a joke, basically saying, you're terrible at Twitch, you need this book. Um, but when I saw that, I thought, I actually do need that book, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, I know how to bake, I know how to cook, I know how to rub my mouth. But as far as uh, streaming, I still have a lot to learn. But it has been uh, it has been a lot of fun, isn't it? Doing this is a lot of fun. Um, dropping in on people's streams and checking out what they're doing, and um, you know, I guess um, I I am lucky that I I do something else full time because I feel like that takes a lot of the pressure off. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to I don't have to rely on this. You know, it's just for fun. I get to I get to make virtual friends all around the world, and we get to hang out together. And I'm, I don't know about you, I think that's pretty friggin' amazing. Where we are. One, one tiny positive thing about 2020. We're all stuck inside, but we can hang out on Twitch virtually. Oh man. What are you guys gonna do this weekend? What are you guys, Johnny, I know we were talking about that a little bit earlier what we're doing, our weekend plans. I have no weekend plans. I hope I don't eat a pan, a whole pan of brownies. I don't know, I've been, you guys, I have been working. <laughs> it's really cool, bro, I love it. Yeah, I, lo I love it too, Johnny. And uh, you know, you, uh, incidentally, you do a great job on your stream. You bring a lot of energy and fun in there. Love hanging out in there. Um, I'm not a huge, I'm really not a huge gamer, so. Uh, streams for me are all about the personalities, the people doing it. I will watch any game you're playing as long as you're bringing the good vibes and the energy to it. I'm there. I'm there. I'll watch you. Love it. All day long. Blockhead is a fan. Yeah. I hope I don't eat this whole pan of brownies. Oh, that's what I was going to say, you guys. I have been working. I have been working so hard up in the gym trying to hi hi Mid monster tv what did i miss so we made the batter and i stuck in the oven it has 11 minutes some cat you are going to the beach today um ben monster tv it has 11 minutes to go and uh and that's only the halfway because then i have to smack it on the table i have to put it back in for another 20 minutes then we got to cool it for 20 minutes so I'm so sorry, it's a way to go. Let me let me try this again. Let me do my let me do Moobot. You guys come over here. I don't want to lose you. Let's see if I can do this too. Let's 
See if I spilled everything out right. That's why I a moderator. There you go. There's there's Ben Monster TV. Shout out to Ben Monster TV. Um, thank you, Mubot. I'm so you guys can tell I'm I'm so geeky. I'm so proud of myself that I figured out how to put a little itty bitty baby Mubot into my stream. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Ben Monster TV, who I'm a huge fan of, uh, they have a show tonight. It's called Tuesdays with Ben Monster. Don't let that throw you off. But it's a lot of fun. It's it's a can't miss experience. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what? I have 10 minutes. I think now would be the time. With kiddos, so unfortunately no drinking for this kitty cat. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I always, um, I remember that when my, when my son was little cat, um, and I had to make a rule, like if I was gonna be there, you know, I wouldn't drink or anything, because kids will just, you know, you think you're having a good time with other adults, and then kids will just be like running off rampant. Um, I think now is a good time. So, um, Ben Monster TV, I ordered this. This is my Richard from Ben Monster TV. Um, and it's just, it's kind of a little backstory, but I'm gonna try to do it really quickly, because we have time, we have time. And we're all friends here, right? We're all new, good friends. So on their channel, they do this thing where they go into chat roulette, and there's stranger danger. And if you get, if you get a Richard, on screen that's sort of the idea for a Richard so as you can see um, he drew on the envelope for me he said it was supposed to smell like vanilla Ben monster I don't think this smells like vanilla I think that's a joke <laughs> hey Rob how are you oh he says oh let's see what is so so, 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 you guys sent me the package. I finally got my Richard. Actually, it didn't take long at all. He mailed it like the next day. I got my stickers. Can you guys see? There's, there's my, my Bin Monster sticker. Look at that. It's like a custom Bin Monster sticker. And this one, and this logo, I believe, goes to the Control Alt Death, which is another show that they do on there. And then, oh, this one's, it's very holographic and shiny. Look at that one. It's very cool, I love it. I should, but I ran out of vanilla body spray. That's okay. And now, the main, the main event. I don't wanna, I don't know what material's made out of, so I don't wanna break it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This thing is adorable. Can you guys see? There's, there's the Richard. There he is. Doo 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 doo. There's Richard. Look at that. That's, that is so adorable. Don't put it in your mouth, you guys. That's the big thing. Don't put it in your mouth. That's very cute. Thank you, Ben Monster TV. I love it. It lives up to all my, all my expectations. <laughs> Rob says he saw enough Richard yesterday. Well, sorry about that. Um, unless, you, unless you wanted to see some Richards, you know. Sometimes you do, sometimes you're in the mood. But you can go on the internet and see them all day long if you want. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna, let's see if this works. Oh yes, so for now, until I decide, I'm gonna put him in the back of this teacup like he's taking a little, like he, he looks like he's taking a bath. Look how happy he looks. The lighting is so, look, he's so happy he's taking a little bath in a teacup. He's like, ah! Yeah! Ooh, actually, he could be on that ride. That ride at Disney World, you know what I'm talking about? With the teacup ride, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling sick. I don't know if that's really his voice. Uh, that is very nice, actually. That's, that's pretty funny. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's adorable. What, um, what a great idea, really, that was. That was good. That was really good. Um, like I said, I've got my coffee here. Rob says, Played, oh, played, oh yeah, the Omegle roulette, it's a lot of Richard. That's what I'm talking about, Rob. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. I saw um, everybody, everybody on the stream and at work, everybody is talking about the return of Dexter, you guys. Um, this 10-part limited series. And I have a confession, I have never watched Dexter. Not one minute of Dexter. However, 
I do love great television shows. I've seen all of The Sopranos. I watched Game of Thrones. We won't talk about the last season of Game of Thrones here. We just won't. <laughs> Maybe someday we will, but it's not going to be good. Um, I've watched The Wire. I've watched Breaking Bad, which I consider Breaking Bad to be one of the greatest TV shows ever made. It's just amazing. So it's weird that Dexter has slipped through the cracks. I've never watched Dexter. So I'm finally going to do it. Dexter, uh, the first whatever, however long it was on, eight seasons, they're all on Netflix right now, I found out. I did some Googling last night, and I have Netflix. How have I never noticed? Dexter has been on Netflix since like 2014, and I haven't, haven't even paid attention to it. I don't know. So I'm going to catch up with everybody else, and I'm going to binge watch Dexter. It's good. Is it, Rob? That's what everybody's telling me. And some cat says, me either, but, but it looks interesting. Rob says, ever try The Good Place? My husband watched The Good Place. I did not watch that one. I skipped The Good Place, um, but he watched it. Um, Dexter, Dexter does look interesting, and I, I want to catch up. I want to see. Um, we watched, have you guys seen on Netflix, Emily, Emily in Paris on Netflix. Emily in Paris is... Um, I liked it. It's a fun show. It's not, it's not a thinking show. You're not going to be... This is not Sudoku here. This is not rocket science, like they say. It's just a fun show. It kind of reminds me of The Devil Wears Prada. So if you guys have read the book, The Devil Wears Prada, or... <laughs> I know you see it enough, Emily Rob, but I'm just saying it's a, it's, it's a funny show. It's nice. It's a sh and it takes place in Paris, so it kind of makes you feel all fuzzy and romantic. Oh man, I'm so excited. I, I got this Richard on like Monday and I waited all week to open it and it's awesome. What am I going to do with my stickers? One of them just fell on the floor, you guys. We've got four minutes left for the first half of cooking the brownies. And... I need somewhere good to like smack them. I guess I could just smack them right here. I binge Cobra Kai. Oh, some cat. I I I love Cobra Kai. I've only seen the first season so far, um, but I loved it. I watched it with my son. My son did not like it as much as I did. I don't want to speak for him because he's not on stream right now. But he did say something to the effect of it was very everything in the show was very predictable to him. He wished that there was more twists and turns. Um, but I, I liked it. I, I liked Cobra Kai very much. And you also saw Emily in Paris. Yeah, I, I thought Emily in Paris was very nice. It's, it's just a sweet show. The guy who created it is the same guy who made like 90210 and Melrose Place and Sex in the City. Um, so I liked it. They put Young Sheldon on HBO Match. Max. Why did I say Match? So I finished watching that. I also finished Cobra Kai. All right, we've got a whole bunch of Cobra Kai fans in here. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Can you imagine if I just did that for like the next 20 minutes of the stream? Everyone logging on and it's just some guy in a David Bowie shirt being like, oh, oh. <laughs> what have I logged on to? You need to see it all. Three is coming and four has been ordered. Yep, I I know I know cat. I do. I want to watch I want to watch the next season and um yeah, and uh Netflix got it from YouTube. Um I'm not sure if I don't know cat if YouTube like canceled it and Netflix saved it or Netflix was just like we want this show so we bought it. I do think it's so cool that all those original actors came back and reprised their roles. Um that is so fun when that happens. And people came back and, and did everything uh, original. It bombed on YouTube because nobody wanted to subscribe to YouTube Red. That is true. Let me tell you, you guys, and I mean, I love YouTube. That's where a lot of my videos go after I'm done streaming. And I even make YouTube exclusive videos that I don't stream. So I love YouTube. But why is it like you log on to YouTube and they're like, do you want to subscribe to premium YouTube? It can do this, 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 and this. So you watch like five minutes of your video and then you see like three ads in the meantime and then it's like, would you like to subscribe to YouTube premium? And I'm like, if I wanted to subscribe to YouTube premium, 
I would. You don't have to remind me every five minutes. Netflix is good at picking up shows. Yes. And you know what, Kat? They're good at picking up shows, but they're also good at canceling the ones that you're into. Have you guys had that happen? What was it? Santa Clarita Diet. I kind of liked it. It was kind of funny. And then out of they just canceled it. They were like, nope, we don't want any more of this. And I was like, how? Why do you do this to us, Netflix? People are into a show. And Netflix won't tell you exactly how many people are watching. So it's hard to gauge. You're thinking to yourself, I know it wasn't just like 10 of us watching this show. Why won't you bring back Senate? And Glow. That's exactly right. Yeah, Glow. And I think, Ben Monster, I think Glow's announcement was recent too because they were supposed to renew it and then they decided not to. Because um, we were hearing that they were going to renew it. Um, Glow is one, I think I watched the first two seasons of Glow and I loved it. I thought it was great. Sometimes, sometimes you guys, Fox canceled Last Man Alive on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Why? The timer's done. So let me get these brownies out and we're going to smack them. And we're going to continue talking about why Netflix and networks do the things that they do. To us, they're loyal fans. Why? Okay. So all you do is you take the brownies out and then you smack them on the counter. Like that. And then you stick them back in for another 20 minutes. I need to look up why that's in the recipe. I always do it every time. I don't know why it's in there. If there are professional bakers out there, maybe you could tell me why. All right. Another 20 minutes, and then when they're done, we do brownies the same way as cakes. We're going to get a long toothpicky thingy, and we're going to put it in there. You know, I just noticed my nightlight is changing colors over here. Did you guys see that? It just changed from red to like yellow. Oh, it's changing to green. Wow. Uh, that is the first time I've ever noticed that it changes colors on its own. Wow. Do you know how long I've had that night light? Okay. I think it was COVID related for getting rid of glow. Oh, that would explain it because they were supposed to renew glow. Grace and Frankie is Netflix's longest running show. If you haven't seen it, it's good. Some cat, I have seen all of Grace and Frankie and I do love it. It's very good. It makes them more dense and fudgy. Thanks, Rob. I was wondering why. The last season of Glow was great. Heckin' good. What's up? Good morning. How are you? How are you? We're making brownies. There's technically 19 minutes left on the cooking of the brownies and then 20 minutes in the freezer. Real quick, we're gonna get them as cool as we can, put the caramel on, and then I'm gonna serve up one. And we'll keep chatting. If you want to, we'll keep chatting. Coffee, brownies. You know, it's that kind of a Friday. I th Don't you sometimes get to the end of the week and you're like, you know what? I'm trying to be good in the gym. I'm trying to be good on my diet, but damn it, I deserve a brownie today. That's what we're doing today. I, Blockhead deserves a brownie. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why, uh, why, why, why do networks cancel those shows my eight day week just began oh sorry rob you know every time i think that my schedule gets weird yours is always worse i mean <laughs> you always beat me <laughs> i'm like i work overnight in the graveyard shift and you're like well i do the same thing but for eight days in a row i'm like well at least i don't have to do that um yeah um, I actually chose to go to Graveyard Shift. It's kind of nice. It's kind of quiet. I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys uh, do uh, work Graveyard Shift. Me and... I don't... Yeah, you said you've been doing it 17 years straight. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't do it for straight. Heckin says, I switched to using coconut oil in my brownies. Game changer. I... I would consider doing that, I guess. I'm such a... Uh, a sucker, I guess you would say. I'm, I'm, I, I, I like to abide by the recipe as written. And then once I gauge the recipe, I can start making alterations. I would be, um, it would give me such pause to just throw some coconut oil on them. Do you mean, do you top them with coconut oil at the end? 
No, I know you meant you you put them in there. I'm I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Heckin' good. I know you don't just or or do you? You just top them with a layer of coconut oil at the end. Brownies are good, but I prefer a liquid diet. I forgot to turn off my do not disturb today, so all my notifications keep popping up. Brownies are good, but I prefer a liquid diet. Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, some cat, and I do a little bit of that on the weekends too. Um, not this morning, I'm gonna go uh, straight to bed. Um, but um, Mondays, so Mondays are my big, uh, my big drinking day, and we drink right here on the chat, as a matter of fact, in the morning. Um, so I think this coming Monday, um, I'm not sure what time I have posted. I don't remember if it was seven, eight nights in the morning, and we do Mimosa Mondays. And we just catch up on our weekend. Just like now we're talking about plans going into the weekend, on Mondays we catch up. And I have my Moses and it's wonderful, cat. So if you get a chance, stop by. Um, tomorrow we're doing an Amazon watch party. So if you have Amazon Prime and if you have Twitch, you can come by. Uh, tomorrow for sure is at 9 central time. And we are watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So, if you haven't seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind for a while, like me, or if you've never seen it, um, we're going to be doing that. My uh, hamster over here, Sherbet, he's actually going to be hosting the watch party, and I'm just going to be in the chat. And um, we're going to watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And that's if you have Amazon Prime, and if you have Twitch. Um, Sunday at noon, Sunday at noon, um, I'm going to make something... I think I'm gonna to try to tackle Eggs Benedict, which I have never made before, but I love. And if it doesn't turn out, it'll make a funny stream anyway. We'll see what disaster we make. But I'm gonna make some Eggs Benedict, and then I'm gonna be joined by my husband, special guest, my husband, AKA Momo. He's gonna join me, and we're gonna see which one of us knows more about the other person. And this is audience participation. So even though we have a lot of questions that come out of this game, that we can ask each other. We also want questions from you guys. So if you're able to stop by Sunday at about noon central, you know, I'll be making those and then he's gonna join me and we're gonna see, does Blockhead know more about Momo or does Momo know more about Blockhead? And we're trying to come up with something that the loser has to do that's punitive, not too extreme, but something that they definitely wouldn't want to do. Um, he suggested one of us would have to wear bunny ears for the rest of the stream and I was like that is not uh, that's not enough you know I'm thinking like you know take a shot of egg or like shave off an eyebrow or something crazy right something you don't want to lose but we're gonna do that we're gonna play around with that and it's gonna be a lot of fun um, oh I am I am missing so much some cat says I'm in I know you're talking about Mondays my most of Mondays stop by ooh and there's no way I can see that emote on here. <laughs> it looks like, hold on. Yeah, it looks like a man plunged underwater. I cannot see it. Sounds fun, awesome. My hubby loves Eggs Benedict. Some cat, I love Eggs Benedict too. Um, I've never made it before. Uh, and Rob says that's mild. It looks like an ET drowning. Maybe it is, maybe it is ET drowning, not the brows. I don't think we'll really do our, I would probably, I would probably not get in trouble if I shaved off an eyebrow, but people would not like it. They would not be happy with me. And he definitely is not doing that. Are you guys kidding? I don't know. <laughs> He's not gonna shave off an eyebrow. <laughs> it is E.T. in the river. That's so funny. E.T. in the river. I watched a, uh, I watched a show on uh, Amazon Prime I just needed some coffee. I watched a show on Amazon Prime. It's called Quest of the Muscle Nerd. Have you guys ever seen this documentary? It's from 2017, 2018. And this guy uh, decided to propose to Dragon Con, which I guess is the big comic book convention in Atlanta. I think it's Atlanta. Huge comic book convention, cosplayers and everything else converge on the city for Dragon Con. He wanted to do an event that merged the cosplay aspect of it, where you're wearing like costumes stuff, with the physique, like like the bodybuilding uh, aspect of it. And so he proposed this to them, 
Um, and the whole the whole thing is great. Um, it was a huge success. His little trial panel was a huge success. I've made four times, three times successfully. Well, what didn't go what didn't go right the one time, cat, with your eggs Benedict? I'm curious. What was it? It was the poaching of the eggs. That's the part that intimidates me. I'm like, what? How do I do this? Um, yeah, it's a great little little documentary if you're into like, you can see how that works together, right? If you're gonna cosplay as a Viking character, oh yeah, yeah. yeah so the two people in the the trial panel, um, the two people in the trial panel, one of them cosplayed as He Man, and it was like he dressed up as He Man and everything, and then they did like a pose down against each other to the He Man theme song, and then the other guy was dressed up as Trainer Red from uh, from Pokemon. And, you know, they, they both had uh, great physiques for dudes, and they got up there and did their thing. And it's just a neat, neat documentary, a neat idea. Um, and for me, when I watch something like that, it's not so much about the idea, but about all the participants' enthusiasm for it. Like, this is an idea that this guy had and wanted to do it. He's not getting any money for it to do all this extra work to put on a panel at this comic book convention that combines you know, your physique with cosplay, but it's an interesting idea because he said that, um, you know, that's part of it. If you want to cosplay like Conan or something like that, you're gonna have to be in the gym making your physique look, look uh, a certain way, you know, to cosplay that character. It's an interesting idea, anyway. That's what, that's what I think. We have 10 minutes, and then the brownies have to cool for 20 minutes. Um, before they cool, so before they cool, we'll put the kosher salt on there, the sea salt. Where's my, yeah, my, my coarse sea salt here. Um, before they cool, we'll put the salt on so that it kind of melds a little bit with the brownies. And then after it cools, put the caramel on. And then I'll cut a piece. And we'll see, we'll see what's up. Let's see. Did Cat ever... Kat, did you ever say what um, what was the problem the one time? Oh, there it is, right there. It's just a little bit. Sorry, that's my bad, Cat. I see it. Mixing the oh, mixing the hollandaise sauce. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, I found uh, some of the recipes want me to use a is a double boiler. They want me to use which I can do. I know how to do that. It's very easy. Um, and then some of them where it's like, look, just blend everything up together. It'll be fine. So, what, what do you recommend, Kat, for the holidays? Do you recommend I use the double boiler method, which I can do, or do you recommend I just mix it all together, just with a hand mixer or something? How's the brownies going, bro? Johnny, they have eight minutes left to cook, and then we gotta cool them down for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna get a, I'm gonna, I am gonna get a piece. I wish I could send you all a, a brownie. I really wish I could. Somebody get on that. Make us an app. Make an app where I can send food to people who are watching the stream. You know what I mean? Senna, they are not done already. Hi, Senna. It's nice to see you. Senna, I, uh... <laughs> so I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry to you, Senna, and to other people that the times keep changing so uh, radically right now on my streams. I'm trying so hard to update on Instagram when I'm going to go live and update on my schedule on Twitch. Um, because like I said, work is weird. You know, I work overnight and then I get out of work. Um, I know it is early, it really is. They're not done, they have seven minutes and then we're gonna cool them down for 20 minutes. Then uh, Johnny says, I can't wait, I'd love a brownie. I wish all the way to Australia, here goes a brownie. I prefer to mix by hand. Okay, so Kat, I'm gonna do that then. Since you recommended that, on Sunday, when I make Eggs Benedict, I'm just gonna mix it by hand. I'm not gonna worry about doing the double boiler and getting all the stuff all bubbly and stuff in there. Um, do, 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 do. Man, aren't you guys glad it's Friday? This is just, I just feel amazing that it's finally Friday, you know? You could get fancy and make crab cake Eggs Benedict. Rob, maybe that'll be the next level, okay? Maybe that'll be the next thing that I do. 
Uh, let me just get the basic Eggs Benedict down first on Sunday. Um, and honestly, you guys, to tell you the truth, I was going to do Kahlua French Toast, but Momo was like, well, I like Eggs Benedict more than French Toast. So I said, fine, since you're going to be a guest on the stream, I will do Eggs Benedict, and I'll save the French Toast for another time. I found a recipe for some Kahlua French Toast. Ben Monster says, this week was so long, so glad it's Friday. Yes, I, <laughs> I'm glad it's Friday too. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing, man. Senna, I'm so glad it's Friday. I have to work a few extra hours today because I took yesterday afternoon off to do a walkthrough of the new house. That's right, Senna. Whoop, whoop. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Um, I love stuff like moving to a new place, moving to a new house, moving to a new apartment, and you just sort of get the, you know, it's it's like new beginnings and it's exciting. It's an adventure. That French toast sounds awesome. I think so too. I'm going I'm going to make French toast on the stream. Um, French toast is not hard to make. Um, don't know if that. I don't know if that would be. If I should stream that or just, you know, send that to YouTube. Because it's it's not hard. Um, but I think adding the Kahlua to it sounds fun. You know? I wish I had some Kahlua right now. i put some Kahlua in this coffee. You know what I'm saying? You guys, Kahlua French Toast, yes please. But Eggs Benedict sounds delicious too. Right? So many delicious things to make and do. Oh, and and cat's going. Oh, you know what? Some cat. Oh, okay. I know. So I know you in real life, some cat. Okay. <laughs> I I I I know you in real life. Thanks. Thank you for coming by and and checking out the brownies. That's awesome. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't sure, but I do know you in real life. Yes. Or at least I'm ninety nine percent sure. I know who you are, some cat. So I'm excited for you guys too. I think that's that's gonna be great. Um, it is awesome. It is awesome to go off on new adventures and do new things and everything. Is it this real life? Well, yes, to an extent. Now I feel like I'm in one of those, like one of those streams where you guys log on and I'm just like, welcome. What is real life? Today, we ponder the mysteries of the universe. Is this real or just a simulation? Like, that would be... Oh, yeah, the Truman Show. What is it that he does on the Truman Show, Rob? Isn't it like... Or whatever he does in the mirror, and then he's like, that one's for free? I watched the Truman Show not too long ago. My, uh, my kiddo wanted to see it. Uh, we love... Jim Carrey, by the way. Have you guys seen... Oh, man. Have you guys seen the documentary? I think it's on Netflix. And the whole documentary is about when Jim Carrey was doing the movie, uh, the part of Andy Kaufman, right? Man on the Moon, Man in the Moon, Man on the Moon, Man on the Moon. Um, which, when that movie came out years and years ago, I love that movie. So this documentary is about Jim Carrey basically uh, becoming Andy Kaufman all the time and just acting like that all the time. Jim Carrey is getting very eccentric in his old age. He is Rob, but in like the coolest way. Like this documentary was awesome. And Ben Monster says, yes, yes. So you've seen it. You've seen that documentary where he is like acting like Andy Kaufman all the time. Me and my son loved it. We like Jim Carrey a lot already. And then to kind of see how he got into that role and heckin' good has seen it too. I'm a huge fan of Andy Kaufman. Yeah, yeah, the whole, I, I just loved it. And um, Jim Carrey really talked about, the whole thing is that that movie supposedly changed Jim Carrey's outlook and paradigm on everything. And you know, he realized that he could be um, a lot more than like the Jim Carrey that people expected him to be. It changed his whole life, he said. It's striking how much Jim Carrey resembles Andy Kaufman. Yeah, yeah, he did an absolute great job. And then when he was, when Jim was acting as Tony Clifton, it added another layer to it. And, um, and oh man, um, 
What? You guys help me out. The director, Milos, what's his name? Milos Foreman or something like that? I can't remember the exact name. I think that's the right name. That guy is one of the best directors like in history and he's still in the documentary was so patient with Jim Carrey and everything and you know he didn't he didn't get all egotistical and crazy and everything he was just very patient with the way that Jim Carrey wanted to do that movie sounds like a need to watch that documentary now yes um, it is really good especially if you like documentaries cat if you if you if you guys like documentaries and stuff and if you like Jim Carrey and if you've seen Man on the Moon, especially, if you've seen that movie where he is Andy Kaufman, it's such a great movie, the documentary is amazing. It's it's really, really, really cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, so our brownies only have a minute left to cook. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what they look like. Actually, let me go ahead and grab a toothpick real quick. Did I put, yes. I have my extra long shish kebab toothpicks. I like these for doing bacon wrapped shrimp or bacon wrapped little smokies. Does anybody, any of you guys like uh, bacon wrapped shrimp or the, the little smokies bacon wrapped? Put a little maple sugar on there. These are great. So these, these are, um, this is what I'm gonna use. The brownies only have, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the timer off. 30 seconds, so let's, let's turn this timer off. Let's see if our brownies are done, you guys, and then we're gonna put them in the freezer. I didn't check the freezer this time to see if there's room. I hope there's room. Oh, I was looking for my other. Oh, this looks awesome. This looks absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, they're done. They're done. So this is what they look like right now. See? And you can see putting all that butter on there, it really helps them stay off the edge. So we're gonna go ahead and salt this. Let me turn my oven off. Oven's off. I'm gonna go ahead and salt this, and then I'm gonna see if I can uh, just put a little salt. I should have brought you guys down to watch. Sorry. I promise you I just put salt on them. <laughs> Bob Zamuda, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his partner. Wrote a great book on Andy. It was so good I forgot to give it back to the library. Yeah, the, um, yeah, that was cool to have Bob Zamuda on that uh, documentary as well. I do have room. Whoop, whoop. Let me just move some things. And then I'll have room. I do have room if I move literally everything else. So this is what they look like right now. And they've got a bunch of salt on them. And then we're gonna throw them in the freezer and we're gonna chat some more. And like in 20 minutes, I'm gonna serve one of these. In you go. 20 minutes. We'll put the uh, I've never put the I've never put the caramel on them when they come out real hot like that. I wait until they cool down and then I put it on. I I don't think it would matter taste wise. It's gonna taste the same. It's just gonna be caramel. But in my head, I think it would smear all over the brownies a lot more than if you crisscross it. And I try to make it look a little bit pretty. I mean, I'm not a professional, but I try to make it look a little bit aesthetic. I guess you could say. I wonder if my it is. I have my, I have my, uh, I have my spatula. This is my favorite spatula for cutting out pieces of cake and stuff. Those big ones just won't, won't do. Table salt in chocolate milk is good too. Really? Some cat, I have never done that. Wow. And this is like my pie spatula. Table salt in chocolate milk. I didn't know that was a thing. I've had, um, but it makes sense because there's lots of things that people mix like that. Like, you know, the people that'll get a frosty from Wendy's and then they'll dip a little French fry in there and be like, mm -hmm. oh, this is delicious. This is a delicious French fry. You guys. 
So I uh, there there she is again. So I added I added Moobot. Bin Monster, that spatula does not have a name. Would you like to give it a name? I will probably forget what name you give it. Although I did remember Dan the Pan and the big bowl, Roseanne. And I had a little tiny bowl today. Oh, it's already got it's already in the sink. That I guess I was like, this is like the DJ bowl. I like the, the Roseanne stuff. That was that was pretty cool. Um do 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 do. Yep. It's so nice to see everybody. Happy Friday. Once again, happy Friday. You guys want to hear you guys want to hear my calendar quote of the day. It was really sweet today. You have to take a, like a, a break from the hijinks for like two seconds. So this is a Mother Teresa quote and it says, if we really want to love, we must first learn to forgive. Isn't that sweet? That's a sweet quote for today. Salt makes the cocoa pop. Why does that sound like a modern pop rap song, Cat? Like, you know the songs that are on the radio right now. It's like, salt makes the cocoa pop. Mm, mm, mm. Salt makes the cocoa pop. Mm, mm, mm. Salt makes the cocoa pop. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why. Cat, me and you gotta write that song. See if you can come up with some more lines. We'll write that. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm thinking of, Rob. Like, WAP is a song like, me and Kat, we're gonna do like, salt makes the cocoa pop. Mm, 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 mm. Put it on TikTok. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, I'll have to think of a good one. Okay, Ben Monster, you gotta think of a good name for my spatula. <laughs> ben Monster's gonna think of a name for my spatula. Kat and I are gonna write the next great pop rap song. It's, uh, it's gonna, be, gonna be awesome. Um, well, now that I have a, a few more people hanging around, let me let me do this one more time. Have a few more people hanging around, so let me shout out Ben Monster TV one more time. Um, the show is tonight, Tuesdays with Ben Monster. It's really funny, real. I promise, it's super funny. And I don't know if you guys were here earlier, but I got my Richard from Ben Monster TV, so I'm excited about that. He's like, ah! <laughs> I want a brownie! Give me the brownie! Ben Monster TV, um, I have kind of a weird question to ask, but this wasn't based on like a life size of anybody, was it? Like, not that we're judging here at the Blockhead Show. He's a, he's a wee bit small, Ben Monster. Um, <laughs> Heckin' Good says, Scott, oh, that's good. Scott Bacula Spatula. I love that. I don't know, we need to patent it. Yes, yes. Just like the artificial vanilla. Don't Google Mother Teresa. Um, ben Monster, I know. There are, she can also be problematic with with what we know today, looking backwards, a lot of the people are problematic. All, stra all Stranger Danger episode. That little sausage is so cute. Oh, we want brownies, we want brownies. 15 minutes, Johnny, 15 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a brownie. And I feel, this is kind of weird. I feel kind of bad, like I get a brownie and I have no way to give you all brownies, I promise. I promise if I had a way, I would I would share my brownies with all of y'all if I had a way to do it. I gotta make sure I have a plate ready. We're gonna put some caramel on this. Ooh. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right. All right, you guys. Hey, we'll do one, we'll do one more here. See if that's right. Is that right? There we go. We'll shout out my my friend Johnny. He's over there in Australia. And um, yeah, currently playing Call of Duty. I don't think I think Mubot is wrong, Johnny. I don't think you were playing Call of Duty. I'm just gonna call her out. I don't think she's right. You were not playing Call of Duty. It was some other pew pew shoot 'em up game, but it was fun. I'm so. 
I'm so like out of touch, you guys. Like I don't know all these games where the people. There's a lot of these games, and I do like watching, where they jump out of something, they jump out, and they parachute down to the ground, and then they run around and collect stuff and shoot each other. And it's very exciting, and I'm so happy that you guys are playing them so that I don't have to, because my blood pressure would shoot through the roof. I can't play stuff like that. Did I ever tell you guys? I played, I have fudge and an imagination, so be good. We good. Heckin' good. Heckin' good's like, we good. Um, I tried to play Wolfenstein. <laughs> Dude, my adrenaline was, was going so hard, and I was like, I can't play this. I can play, literally, I can do Mario Kart. I'm good. Mario Party. That's fine. Stardew Valley. Animal Crossing. I'm done. That's it. Just give me some Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley. Super chill, easy game. Cinna. We're on the same, we're on the same level. We're on the same level. Oh, and the people playing the scary movies, man. What's, uh, is it Gabe? It's Gabe over at Ben Monster TV playing the Blair Witch Project. Oh my gosh. I'm glad, that's what I'm saying. I'm glad he's playing it so I don't have to. That would, that, that's a scary game. Actually, it's funny. So Blair, the Blair Witch game that they're playing, I think it's, it's, I said once it was PC, but I think it's Xbox, because the Xbox achievements pop up. So this Blair Witch game, it is like 50% scary, and 50%, you're literally just walking around the woods. Like, what is going on? Like, it's, it reminds me of when I used to be in Boy Scouts, and we would get lost. They put you on a snipe hunt. Anybody ever do a snipe hunt when they were in Scouts? Yeah, so, secret, there's no snipes. I mean, a snipe is a real bird, but you're not really out there hunting them. Fortnite. I play hand-drawn puzzle games. Heckin' good, that's what I'm talking about. Hand-drawn? Do you hand-draw them? Hand-drawn puzzle games. I mean, I've heard of, like, Sudoku and stuff like that. Is that a puzzle game? It's a game. It's a puzzle. It should be a puzzle game. You know what? Somebody out there needs to start live-streaming some Yahtzee. Somebody somewhere needs to put the camera and I want to watch I want to watch four older people older than me. I want to watch four grandmas playing Yahtzee. Hey, and if they got the chatter going on like the Golden Girls, imagine a stream of like the Golden Girls playing Yahtzee. I would watch that. I don't know what y'all. I would check it out. Golden Girls playing Yahtzee. Not talented. Oh, so you don't draw them. That's what you mean, heckin' good. You don't draw the games. Among Us app just downloaded it. See, and I can't, I, this is crazy because Among Us is so popular, I have not watched a single all the way playthrough of that game yet. Um, I watched a little bit of my friend playing it the other day, and I couldn't even understand what was going on. I came in in the middle of it. I couldn't understand what was going on. Um, so I think that I lurked just to give him some support, but I really wasn't paying attention. Um, I think I was just doing other things, but I had the stream on, um, so that, you know, he would have one more person. Not that I account for much, but that's one more person, right? That would be entertaining. Thank you, Cinna. I'm going to pitch that. I'm going to pitch that to Netflix. I would watch that. Grandma Boggle. Grandma Boggle. That, you know what? Let's just make it, there needs to be a channel, Grandma, Grandma's Gaming. Somebody, let's get our grandmas, Grandma's Gaming. And it's four grandmas, and they get together, because, you know, when you're retired and you're that age, sometimes they want, well, you can't right now because of COVID, okay? But let's pretend for a second that COVID is not real, that COVID doesn't exist, and not in the way the politicians mean, okay? That's not... Not the way these, these people mean. It's not real. I don't, I don't mean that. I mean, let's pretend, let's pretend that it's really not real. Not that I want it to not be real. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, the grandmas get together and they do grandma gaming. And we watch them. We watch them play. It could be Yahtzee. Yeah. Yahtzee, Bunko, Boggle, Canasta, uh, Mancala, uh, Dominoes. What else? They play um, 
Gin Rummy, right? Grand Meezy Parcheesy. That's what's up. I like that wordplay, heckin' good. Grand Meezy Parcheesy. Heckin' good. You need to put that on a t-shirt and merchandise the heck out of that with some... Probably can't use the Golden Girls, but you could use some kind of sweet old ladies just sitting around and in big letters it says, Grand Meezy Parcheesy. You... That's a shirt. That's a t-shirt right there. Heckin' good. My neighbor talked me into downloading it. Still need to open it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where are the brownies? We got eight minutes left. Sock. Sock Mike. Sock Mike. Sock Mike. Is that like this kind of sock? Like bam, pow, bam? Or is this like the socks that I'm wearing on my feet? Either way, seven minutes. They're in the freezer. Did I say they're in the oven? They're in the freezer cooling down. And then we're gonna put the caramel on. I'm gonna serve them up. We're gonna see how they look. In the meantime, Sock Mike, we're just running our mouth. We're just having a good time. Hey, thanks for the follow, Sock Mike. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, like a foot sock. Well, let me stop. Let me stop making boxing motions towards the camera. I apologize sincerely. Dot, dot, dot. Mahjong. Mahjong! That's another good one. You can have it. It's your stream. <laughs> can you imagine? I would feel terrible. Steal somebody else's wordplay. I guess not not technically stealing, but heckin' good. Think about it. This is like a... Remember Facebook? And like all the different people came up with it, but in the end only one dude had it? It would be like that. What if Grand Meezy Parcheesy became the biggest t-shirt the biggest selling t-shirt in the whole world and now you and i's i'm like well you know you came up with it but it was my stream and now we're fighting over all the royalty rights what if they take a t-shirt and they make it into a tv show and they make it into a movie and then they make that movie into a broadway musical and then you know how they do they take the musical and make it back into a movie i'm still waiting on the mean girls full circle because Mean Girls was a movie. Cool mustache, by the way. Thanks, Sock Mike. Uh, sometimes when I'm on vacation, I get it even bigger and bushier. And I always like to do the mustache check. It's a little trimmed right now, honestly. She can get bigger. I can get a big, big, bushy mustache. We eat our vegetables here, Sock Mike. And that's what makes our mustache grow. Um, yeah, I'm waiting on Mean Girls, which is a musical now. And eventually... They're gonna make it back into a movie. Mean Girls Musical, the movie. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I already gave it to you, I have no legal recourse, LOL. All right, I still like that phrase. You know, maybe instead of putting it on a t-shirt, I'll just walk around saying it, and people will be like, what are you talking about? You know, somebody gets into a, uh, oh, let's say so somebody walks through the water or the mud and they splash mud all everything and I'll just be like Grand Meezy Parcheesy, bro I'm gonna be a blockhead What are you talking about? Five minutes. Give me five more minutes and they're not even gonna be all the way cooled down I'm shortening the cooling time for you guys. That's it But I can't cut into them when they're super hot or they will fall apart You can do that at home if you want because they'll be nice and warm. They're still gonna be pretty warm, actually. I'm trying to go for just like this much aesthetic, you guys. So I'm trying to get a solid brownie out of this pan without it falling apart from being warm. It'll be, it's not gonna fall completely apart, but it's gonna be crumbly. It's still gonna be a little bit crumbly. That's why I'm cooling it down. Like if you look in any cake or brownie recipe, it wants you to cool it all the way down, either room temperature or stick it in the fridge. I'm trying the freezer for 20 minutes, just for you guys. You went around with that idea and lost me for a minute, but I found my way back. <laughs> okay, Kat, I'm glad you found your way back. Um, and they did that with hairspray. Yeah, I think so. Wait, did they? I'm, I'm actually not sure, Ben Monster, because I only know of the two things. Um, I'm trying to think of a movie that I know for sure they did it with the, pr the producers, right? The producers was like an old, old movie and they made it into a Broadway musical and then they turned it back into 
I'm not gonna make it. Good night. Good night, Rob. Good night. Have a good night. We'll see you later. See you later. Sherbet, Sherbet sends his love. Thanks for, thanks for coming by, man. I, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you'll get to join me a little more often. I was saying last night that I almost wish that I could watch streams at work, because I would. I definitely would, but I really can't, you know. Um, even if I wanted to, the service is so, so bad. Um, Kat, have you ever heard how bad like the, the cell service is around here and there's like no Wi-Fi anywhere? Gotta walk the pupper, gonna look for a few. Heckin' good, I love walking puppers. Be careful out there. Take that pupper for a walk. I like to let my pupper sniff around. When she's being good, I let her sniff around and play around for a while. I read it, I read somewhere not too long ago in a magazine and the person said something to the effect of, I feel like when you rush a dog and you're denying them the chance to smell things, I can't remember what they exactly said, but they were like, it's almost abusive. And ever since then, I think about that. Like when I'm in a hurry for her to get out there and do what she's supposed to be doing, I think about that. And I'm like, okay, let me be patient and let her sniff around and smell around and everything. So I wonder where I, I read that somewhere, like in a magazine. Yes, so you know, Kat, the internet. Uh, Kat, when you go to Alaska, and when, when we go to wherever we're going next year or whatever, um, I swear, if I get there and AT&T is as bad as it has been, I am not going to be an A. I'm one of those people, I don't know if you guys do this, I get really brand loyal. I get into a brand and I just try to think of all the good things about the brand that I like and I tend to block out all the negative stuff. But AT&T, I... What is up with their service? Everywhere I go, I like have dropped everything. Okay, it says a minute. Everybody's ready for the brownies. Let's pull out the brownies. Let's some, put some caramel on the brownies. Cut into these things. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. John Waters did the first movie and then I thought it was a musical and that Travolta played Devon's role. I've seen both movies, Been Monster. I've seen both Hairspray. Um, was it Ricky Lake in the second version? I think she, Ricky Lake was in the first version of Hairspray. I think so. I could be wrong. I think Ricky was in the first. So now you can see I can touch all over the pan. Can you guys see? Ooh, it's all, it's all crackly and cool. I'm going to bring you guys down here. Everybody's coming down here. Oh my goodness, my whole tripod was moving. Yeah, I'm interested in the cable that is up there. It's an interesting name, I can't remember it. Huh. Okay, and this is the way that I like to do the caramel in stripes back and forth like this. Ooh. Do you guys say caramel? Or do you say caramel? Or do you say something else? And then I'll start right here and I'll go like this. Speaking of problematic people, do you guys remember when Bill Cosby used to be on like one of the morning kid shows and he would do picture pages and that little pen would like go do 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 every time he would draw with it? That's what I felt like with the caramel. So this is how they look. All salty and chocolatey and caramelly. Let's cut us a piece. I want you guys to come back up here with me. We'll cut a piece. We'll chat for a little while longer. I might have another cup of coffee. I have decaf, because I'm going to bed. Let me cut into this, oh my goodness. Oh, this is like my favorite brownie recipe, you guys. So moist, so good, you cannot believe it. And I'm going for a corner piece. Do you guys like the corner piece? A lot of people love corner pieces and brownies, and that's what I'm going for here. Lots of butter so it didn't stick to the sides. Perfect, came back in time to see the final product. Yes you did, Robot Don, yes you did. Let's see if I can get that out of there in one piece. Yes I did. So 
So here you go. Here is your salted caramel brownie. Ooh, and see how the, uh, there's a corner piece right there, that little sort of crunchy part. Yep. And I don't even, I don't even need to get a fork with this. Let me try. How do you, how do you guys think it's going to be? Would it be funny if I bit into it and I was just like, oh, this is so gross. That would be really funny. I should do that once. I just like troll, troll on my own stream. It is unbelievable, you guys. This recipe is unbelievable. Every time I make this, I've said before, I have about three, three different brownie recipes that I rotate through. This is the best one, but it takes the longest to make. You have to make it moist, you have to get it just the right. Um, Cinna says, I love hey you right now because I don't have brownies in my face. I know, Cinna, I feel so bad about it. But you know I really love you, Blockhead. I love you too, Senna. And I know, I know. I, I, I would send you, I would send you guys the rest of this pan if I could. I would save one for my husband, and I would send you guys the rest. Um, yeah. The um, the caramel, the caramel and the salt that is on the top, they kind of come together, so you can taste the caramel and the saltiness, and then the brownie itself. Is really sweet but it's also got that because of the espresso that we put in and the vanilla flavor that we put in and it's dark chocolate cocoa powder that we used it's it this is just an amazing recipe um, yeah Senna I will I'll post the recipe but I will tell you that it is this is tasty's recipe so the website tasty or if you google tasty the best brownies this is what this recipe is based on. Is That's the recipe from Tasty. All I did was, I think instead of like shaving from a bar of some sweet chocolate, I just buy the morsels. I don't shave from the bar. And um, I put caramel and salt on the top, but if you don't like salt and caramel, don't put it on the top. This is, this is the best brownie recipe that I have. <laughs> it's almost a little, um, Awkward, I guess, eating on camera. What a great, great recipe. I'm going to, um, I'm still going to hang around and chat for a little while. I'm going to put the rest of these, um, I'm going to put the rest of these in the refrigerator so I don't drop them, you guys. If anything, I'll probably put more caramel. Oh, yeah. That's good. Sin is like, I, I love caramel. Um, but yeah, I will try to put the, the recipe in my, uh, in my Discord. If you guys know, I did, I did make a Discord. It's very basic right now. A lot of people's Discords have a lot of cool stuff in them, which is great. I'm still learning, so it's very basic. It's like general and welcome and like my fitness stuff is in there. Um, let me put these in the fridge. We can chat a little bit more. I'll finish my brownie, I'll finish my coffee. And we'll have a very leisurely send off. Um, I would say, I would say what? Let's do another 15, 20 minutes. Let's just chat. Let me put these in the in the fridge, you guys. I really, really do appreciate you all stopping by. Um, only thing better than making brownies is making brownies with good friends. Really, this really kicks my weekend off in a great way, having you guys all here. It's gonna be good energy for everybody. Can you feel it? We're all gonna have the, the best weekends. We're all gonna have the best weekends. Okay, well, I literally, I literally have no room in my fridge. I'm gonna have to clear, move some things around. I made a, uh, Yesterday, I made a Minnesota hot dish uh, direct for YouTube on my YouTube channel, and it was macaroni and beef. I guess that's a Minnesota thing, um, and me being Southern, I thought it'd be really fun if I tried to make it. It was really good, but a lot of it is still in the fridge. Um, get a quad shot of coffee right now. Do it, cat. Do it. 
That's, that's too much. Is that too much? Senna says, I don't know if you would like them. I don't know if you like them, but how awesome would it be to see a deluxe caramel apple stream? Caramel apples with chocolate drizzle on them. That is a good idea, Senna, especially because the way that the different people do them. You're talking about the ones on the sticks, right? The apples on the sticks. Different people decorate them so um, the aesthetic would be beautiful of that. Do you guys like watching, like, do you guys like watching, like, the cooking shows that are on Netflix and stuff? I love those shows. Have you guys seen Nailed It? Where people like me, super amateur people, try to make that stuff on Nailed It? I was watching a barbecue documentary show yesterday on Netflix, trying to, trying to get some more sleep in before working overnight. Um, yeah, Senna, I love, I love the host. Some cat says, not enough, not enough. There's not a four is not enough, says Cat. Um, yeah, I uh, the host of Nailed It is so funny. She's one of the best hosts of any of those shows. But yeah, watching those shows will make you so hungry. It it does two things. It makes me so hungry, and it also makes me see how much I have to learn and like how far I have to go. Like, you know, I'll make a pan of brownies like this. Super basic, but delicious, and people love them. But then you watch the things that other people make, and you go, oh my god. <laughs> I, I, wow. You know, or like Sunday, I'm going to try to make Eggs Benedict, which some people can make very easily. Um, like Cat. Cat can make Eggs Benedict. And I've never made Eggs Benedict. We have to, we have to do a stream about that one day. Everybody's everybody has to come with their own individual baking disaster story. Did you use salt when you meant to use sugar? I've never done that one. Has anybody done that? I stopped walking into my match I love. Heckin' good. I love British baking and I, I noticed that on Netflix they keep adding new episodes to the British baking show, like brand new episodes to it. I just love those shows. They're so they're so great and uh, whenever I'm watching and the judges are so you know they're judges so that's their job is to be critical but I'm looking at the food and I'm going I would love to have that right now and the judges are like no no um you didn't quite bring the flavor that we were looking for I don't know what kind of accent that is but that was meant to be a um Like a non-descriptive sort of English accent, I guess. Like not regional or anything. But yeah, I love I love British baking. Man, these turned out good, you guys. <laughs> there needs to be a baking show. Where people just do horrible food experiments. You know what I mean? Like, you make... They're like, this is my chocolate surprise cake. And then when you cut into it, the whole middle layer, like a big, huge sort of pool of ranch dressing, just pours out of the cake. And they're like, surprise! It's my chocolate surprise cake. Ranch dressing is the surprise in the middle. I love ranch. I don't think it'd be good inside of a chocolate cake. You guys, Halloween's coming so fast. And I feel like I haven't watched nearly enough Halloween movies. I haven't watched Hocus Pocus yet. I haven't watched Beetlejuice. I haven't watched Casper. I haven't watched um, Charlie Brown. You guys watch Charlie Brown Halloween? The Great Pumpkin? You remember that? Linus. Hold on. Let me put this piece of brownie down. Linus. Linus talks Sally. It is Sally, right? He talks Sally into going out in that pumpkin patch and waiting all night on the Great Pumpkin. I wonder if Charles Schultz did that as a metaphor for adult people. I'm going to Google that later. There sounds like a, it sounds like an analogy there somewhere, doesn't it? 
Come with me, come right here to this pumpkin patch. I swear the great pumpkin is gonna show up any minute. And then he never does. Is that an analogy of something? Or is it just an innocent cartoon? Am I making, am I reading too much into that? And poor Charlie Brown, he gets a rock. You guys remember that? Every single house that he goes to, they just throw a rock in his bag. He doesn't get any candy corn. He doesn't get any candy bars. He doesn't even get those, those styrofoam circus peanut things. You guys remember those? They just give him a rock. Imagine how you would feel if you were a little kid trick-or-treating and everywhere you go they give you a rock. I gotta remember to ask um, I gotta remember to ask Johnny sometime how trick-or-treating is in Australia. If it's exactly the same as it is here or are there differences. And isn't Australia in the southern hemisphere? Do they leave the date the same? And it's just like a springtime celebration? Or do they move it to match with the fall? Hmm, so much that I need to know. All right, I'm about to start driving, but you certainly have a new active follower. Thanks, Kat. I'll be here. Kat, I stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if I can. Times vary based on work, but those are my days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Bye, Ben Monster. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, um,. 99% sure. I'll see you tonight, Tuesdays with Ben Monster. That plug is actually confusing enough on Ben Monster's stream. Like me doing it on, a, on my own stream has got to be even worse. I keep saying it and people are like, what is Blockhead talking about? It's Friday. But I love it. I love it for the, the comedy of it. I can't think of what, there's a certain type of comedy that I'm looking for, like where something kind of doesn't make sense, but it's funny because it doesn't make sense. Kind of like The Far Side. Gary Larson in The Far Side used to do stuff like that too. I love stuff like that. Love it. I'm almost done with these brownies, you guys. Well, my brownie at least. I'm just gonna eat one, I promise. I'm just gonna eat one and then I'm gonna go to bed like a good blockhead. I don't know if you guys know, dude, I'm like 40 years old and I am working so hard in the gym and on my diet, which that's the thing I love about this diet that I'm on. I'm doing this program I bought from this, this guy. He's kind of big in fitness, Jeremy Ethier or Ethier. And I bought it like nine weeks ago. I read through it and I started it eight weeks ago. I've lost 10 pounds and I feel like everything that I, all the muscle groups that I'm working on, I don't think they're getting bigger, but they stand out more. I don't know. Anyway, I feel kind of like, um, I don't know what the word, is, what the word is, but I'm really, um, I guess I'm like getting more confident in myself and everything. So I post a lot of pictures on my Instagram where I'm like flexing and stuff. And my arms, they're not huge, but you should see me like 10 years ago. Like literally, like, I don't know, what do I have? Like my arms were like the size of this, this thing brush now, this little brush here. Anyway, I just mean to say, I'm really, I'm really proud of myself and I'm 40 years old and I'm working hard. So I deserve this brownie. This brownie, you just work everything right into your diet. You just account for it, that's all you gotta do. And that's all I do. And I've lost 10 pounds in eight weeks. My goal, my goal you guys, is that next year in the spring, I'll turn 41 and I am going to have no kidding apps. I don't know if I'll get there, but that's the vision that I have for the first and only time in my life. And I'll have little, little baby blockhead abs Maybe just two. I don't know. I don't know what's possible. 
I've never worked so hard. I say as I stuff a brownie into my face. But it's all about everything in moderation. I have my mimosas on Monday. I had beer and nachos last Sunday, I think. You just have to, everything in moderation. You just got to work it in. You guys didn't mean to take you off on a tangent on that, but I'm just proud of myself. I hope uh, I hope you guys are doing stuff out there that you're you're proud of too. Things that you share, creativity, um, you know, working hard, and things to be proud of. It's not just the gym. Maybe you're going to school. Maybe you're working hard on your job, a new project. Uh, maybe you're spending a little bit of extra time with your kids. Mom was a lucky man. I stalked your Instagram. Your <laughs> thank you, Cinna. I am working on it, um, and I am definitely getting confident as I work out in the gym and everything but whatever um, whatever your guys thing is you know whatever your thing that you're putting energy as we go into the weekend have feel good about yourself that you put energy into that you know if you spend extra time with your fur babies you know maybe they they love you they need you it doesn't have to be everything doesn't have to be like grind 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 make money hustle culture I think sometimes that's good, but I think sometimes that culture is bad too. Whatever you put your time and energy into, ideally would be something that you enjoy. And I enjoy being in the gym. It makes me feel good. And um, when you see progress over time, so yes, heckin' good. It's it's all about balance. So I'm I'm trying. I'm in there. I'm I'm grinding it out. You know, five days a week in the gym. Um. I would like to someday, soon, someday very soon. I was I was actually a certified personal trainer years ago and then really didn't get a chance to do anything with the certification because my regular job was so much. But now that this job, the military job, um, I only have, I have less time than if I was going to high school. So I have less than four years left. So my idea is to segue into being a personal trainer and um, and trying to be kind of, I, I would be kind of like a soft personal trainer. Not like Jillian Michaels in the old days. Like, I want people to, I want people to feel good about themselves. And I want people to feel good in the bodies that they have now and also have goals of where they would like to go. I believe very strongly in body positivity, um, you know. That is just a fact of nature that people come in all shapes of sizes. We have thick boys and we have skinny boys and we've got thick girls and we've got skinny girls and we've got tall girls and short girls and freckle girls and the vitiligo models that we've talked about before. So, um, you're jagged, dude. Oh, heckin'. I wish. I wish I was jagged. Um, I'm getting there and I'm proud of myself, heckin'. So I appreciate you saying, you saying that. I'm, I'm really trying. Do you know who Cameron Michaels is? I do not. I do not. I know who Jillian Michaels is, but not Cameron Michaels. Um, anyway, what was I even ranting on about? Whatever kind of body or image that you have, just be happy. If you, like me, I, I like the body that I have now, but I think, wow, if I stay on this program, I might actually have some like abs that I can show off. But I like my body now too, and dad bods are in. If you, if you guys don't know, dad bods are in. Like people that go in the gym and lift and we still have the like little bellies or whatever, people love that stuff. So just be happy with whatever you got. Dad bods, mom bods, whatever. And that's the kind of personal trainer that I would be. I want people to be happy with themselves. So maybe next year we'll add that to the list of things to do, you know? I can get that certification. And uh, actually, did you guys know this? So Cameron is a drag queen, but she's known as the bodybuilder Barbie. She had some relationship issues, and in order to feel better about herself, she started going to the gym. She has the same kind of attitude you do. I am going to, I am going to look them up, Cameron Michaels. Maybe I have seen her, Cinna. I wonder, because I watch a lot of fitness documentaries and stuff like that. Um, maybe I will. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't want people to ever feel bad about themselves you should always it's tough it really is tough right because when we're growing up you see all these images and you're told 
only this type of person that looks a certain way, that's the way that everybody should look or whatever. And so, you know, you doubt yourself. It's kind of like, you know, in the African American community, they have such an issue with skin color and stuff. They'll tell people, your skin is, is too dark and your skin is too light and you need to relax your hair and stuff like that instead of being like, you know what? You are beautiful. Your skin is beautiful just the way it is. Your hair is beautiful. If you want to change it, you absolutely can. Relax it, dye it blonde, whatever you want to do, but that's your choice. And you shouldn't feel pressure in order to fit somebody else's image of what is beautiful. That's what Blockhead thinks. Do things for yourself, not because you're trying to fit into somebody else's image of what is pretty. You guys, I gotta go to bed soon. I really, 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 really am so happy that you guys um, came out to support me and making these brownies was great. You guys made it 200% better just having you guys to hang out with and chat with while I made these brownies. Um, I'm gonna finish off my coffee. I'll clean up the kitchen a little bit and then I'll get to bed. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember that tomorrow, if you can make it at nine, 9 Central, we're doing the Amazon Watch Party. If you have Amazon Prime and you have Twitch, we're watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And then Sunday at noon, I'm gonna try to make Eggs Benedict. And then a little bit after that, my husband will join me on stream. We're gonna play a little game and see who knows the other spouse better. Does he know me better or do I know him better? And then Monday, as always, it's my most on Mondays. We're gonna catch up on our weekends and we'll talk a little bit more about movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Senna. Thank you, Hecken. Thank you, whoever else is still hanging out in the chat. I uh, really appreciate you guys being here. I will see you sometime. And uh, please, please remember that if you're feeling small, I'll love your shadow. You guys have a great, great, great weekend, okay? I'll see you really soon.